since so many people on my stream are asking me how do I live stream today I'm finally going to show you guys how I do my live streams so please consider subscribing so I could do more of these tutorials like this one so anyways let's get straight into it all right so the first thing you have to do is that you have to download OBS studio it's going to be in the link in my description below so go to my description and it will be there once you download the OBS studio this should have nothing over here like everything is nothing audio nothing the screen it's nothing so let me just fix things real quick all right so once you made a new collection what you want to do is to go to sources and you click this plus button and you go to browser okay you go to browser and then and then you come back to google and you search up oculus.com slash casting so you want to go here into oculus.com slash casting and then you go to this the first website All right it should say something that says log in to start casting and make sure you, you log in the thing so once you log in to your casting make sure to copy this website all right, so once you come back to your empty place, you want to go to this thing called sources, and then you should see a plus button. So click that, and then choose browser. And then you can just rename them to whatever you want. All right, now we're going to paste the link that we copied, just like this. And make sure the width is 1920 by 1080. So it's like the length of the screen and make sure to press control audio by OBS all right and then you'll get something like this and if you want this vertical of screen to do live streaming on YouTube shorts just simply come to settings and then go to video and then put the base canvas resolution the opposite of 1920 by 1080 so it's 1080 by 1920 and then the same thing on the output and then you press ok and then you'll get this vertical view okay so once you're on your oculus quest go to camera and then click casting now once you click casting you go to the web click the web button and it should appear on your computer or pc all right so once you cast your oculus into your computer it will look something like this and let me just zoom out the thing real quick all right so you should see this thing okay click interact so you can interact with the thing all right and put this and uh, click this audio thing and put it all the way up and here's where the magic happens full screen there we go then you got that and now just get on gorilla tag all right so once you're gorilla tag make sure to just do the full screen all right so make sure it aligns very well so the viewers can see better if you're doing uh vertically if you're doing horizontally then you're fine that's good you're doing the right thing all right so to stream you go to settings and then you go to stream and then it should and then put the service to YouTube RTMPS. All right. And then sign your account or connect your account and it would do stuff like that. And then press okay. So once you sign into your account, once you connect it, press okay. Okay. And now it's your YouTube channel should be connected to your OBS live stream thing. So now, to make the live stream, you know, add like the thumbnail, the description, you go to manage broadcast, right? Put your thumbnail, put the title, you put your description, and you do the thing, you know, privacy. You can select it as unlisted to test if it works. You can set it to private if you want, but for now, you can just set it to public if you want, if this is optional. All right, and then you can put your thumbnail here, and then you can put all the settings. 
and then just leave everything like in the bottom part, right? And once you're done with all of this, click create broadcast or create broadcast and start streaming. This is one way to start streaming. And then if you want to do it the other way, you could just click right here, start streaming. And if you want to add like things like a sub count or like the code, firstly, you go to plus, the, the plus icon, the sources, and then you go to text. And then basically you could just name stuff. So for example, let's do code. So code, chip bag, all right? And then you press okay, all right? Then you just align the stuff just like that you can put it on top you can put it wherever you want if you're horizontal you can just put it wherever it ha it's going to be difficult when you do it on vertical because if it, if, it, if it takes too much space then you they, the viewers won't see the the screen and for the subscriber count you go to youtube studio and you click the first website and then you go to analytics if you're not signed in then sign in and then go to analytics and then go to see live count and then once you're in here copy the link so like that and then you come back to your obs studio and then click the plus button and you click browser and you click okay And then you put in the link right here. And it should say something if you're signed in. You have to sign in all these stuff right here. So once you do that, you sign in with your email and stuff. And then once you're signed in or log in, it would, you would see the subscriber count. All right, so once you sign into your Google account, it should show something like this with your subscribers, all right? And if you don't want like all of this stuff, you hold alt and then you just shrink down the thing. And it just basically covers everything and it should only see the numbers. And then we can just resize it. And I can put it right there. You can put it whatever you want. And yeah, that's basically it. And this part is gonna be mentioning the things that I didn't mention in the video. So I'm just gonna be mentioning them here. So firstly, you need at least like 50 or more subscribers in order to live stream. The second part that I forgot to mention in the video was to actually set up your live stream on YouTube so you can copy the link of the live stream to your OBS, which there's gonna be a tutorial of that very soon. So anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'm going to be releasing a video soon on how to do a live stream on your phone slash iPad. Let's get this video to 50 likes so we can do that. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Shop.